What is up, many guys? I do welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again, guys. Let's get straight into it. I've got quite a few videos to make, so let me show you what I'm looking at. And a bam, as you guys can see there, you've got that Nike and eBay SB Dunk Law. I've said it the wrong way around. It's the eBay and Nike SB Dunk Law Multi. This shoe has come out before, I think back in 2002. So Nike is celebrating 20 years of this shoe by releasing the shoe. So there is a there is some pairs that come with a special packaging, I think, which will get released on eBay prior to the worldwide release as well. And I think these are up for a bidding system. So I don't know how they will, I don't know how they'll like really um do the whole procedure, but I've heard that like they'll do some sort of bidding. It's getting released, I think, probably on the fifth. I think it's the fifteenth of December. Um, double check with that, guys. Don't you know, um, go ahead with what I've said. But I know it's getting released to the wider world via sneakers on December the 17th. So £110. And for me, I think that I just know what I'd go for. Now, I know these will be sold and make some money, but just because something resells and make some money does not, you know, justify you buying the shoes. As a businessman at the same time, I will buy them to resell if I win them. Fantastic. But to own a pair and to wear a pair, I would definitely not own and wear a pair because it just looks deconstructed and I guess it's what they were going for and it's something which is in fashion. We have seen certain like a certain brand which recently got cancelled, you know, a luxury brand, you know, which was in collaboration with another US artist who got cancelled. That used to release just, you know, horrible things like shoes that have just been just, you know, just, just torn apart and they'll sell for like a lot of money. So there is that like, um, I think, um, uh, ethos of um, releasing something which is so hyped because of how ugly it looks and because it creates, um, I guess, uh, attention, you know, in terms of uh, the sneaker market talking about the shoe and how it doesn't look good. They believe that it creates some sort of hype. Does this create some hype in your eyes? I don't know, you guys tell me. Will you buy this shoe? Can you justify owning a pair of this shoe? Reselling wise, I do justify it. The colors on the shoe do represent the eBay um, logo as a brand. I can definitely see that. Now, what I like about the shoe, which is the only thing, is just the color scheme and the patent leather. That is all that I like. As for those transparent parts, like, you know, on the toe box, on just the middle section of the shoe, as well as towards the back of the shoe, that is horrible, that is trash. That's just not classy at all. It looks horrible. Now, if you want to wear that fair play, you know, go for it. You know, fashion is, you know, all about being free. But yeah, even if you look at the uh, plastic as well, on hot days, you know, um, when you sweat, like, you know, how's that going to be? And also, like, um, I'm thinking, like, in terms of uh, the shelf life of the shoe, having the plastic will probably reduce the shelf life. You can't wear them that often. So it just doesn't make any sense. So in terms of resale wise, I think if you get the special packaging, you know, with the shoe, you'll definitely make some money. But if you don't, then you'll not make as much money. I can't say how much you know you're gonna make. It's a bit of a hard one to see. You know, I guess it's a bit of a hard one to uh, to I guess focus on. It'll you know, give a kind of a forecast figure because I don't know how the market's gonna react to it. I'll see by you guys telling me what you think, guys. It's a nice little short one. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace out. I'm out. out.